Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, yesterday I posted a video about drawing an adorable Rudolph and Clarice. Now, we're going to jump over to another classic vintage cartoon around Christmas time that we all grew up watching, hopefully. Anyways, Charlie Brown and Snoopy, Charlie Brown's Christmas. So we're going to draw this. Now, if you want, I will also have a video on how to color and line and look all Charles Schultzy in the next video. So that'll be like a coloring tutorial. Or if you just want to color with me, just, you know, you draw this out first and then you can just jump into the next video and color along with me. Or you can just color and do your own thing and just listen to me in the background. Who knows? <laughs> It'll be in the playlist and also in the description box down below, but now at least you have it. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with like sketching out little Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Just kind of, I've got my sketchbook turned horizontal. This would be a great horizontal picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Charlie's head. And Charlie's really easy because, you know, you just got a circle. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and make his neck. And then his body is really easy. It's just like, boom. <laughs> kind of just looks like some kind of weird hourglass right now, but it's it's fairly easy So you just want to go out and it's like like a weird looking dress and Then you're gonna go underneath and we're gonna make one pant leg here and Then the other pant leg right here And then his feet are just kind of gonna be like this <laughs> Charles Schultz characters are very easy to draw and they're very easy to like make your own. So here's Charlie, all right? And then we've got little Snoopy right here. So you're just gonna make like a circle right here. So it's fair, like you're gonna go to about half. Uh, about to Charlie is a neckline. See how that kind of lines up? And then he's kind of looking up just a little bit. So you bring this out, and it's like an interesting figure eight. Okay, my dog wants a toy. Shelby, you don't need it. All right, so then you're gonna go up, bring this down, bring a little bit of a circle there for his nose. And then for Snoopy's head to get his neck right, you go back behind here, make this round, Bring down this side of his neck, and then from here, you're going to go down. All right. I cannot tell you the amount of Snoopy commissions I've had this year for Christmas. All right, so I'm going to go around and connect that. And then his feet and legs are most likely going to be like the exact same thing. So you go down, bring down the legs, and you will, we can divide these up later, straighten these up later. But you're gonna go out, very similar to how we did over here. So they're like a combination of the two, and then we'll divide them later. So here's Charlie and Snoopy. Next, in between them, you're gonna place the tree. So the tree's really easy. You're gonna do one rectangle here, In between both of them, another rectangle here. And then you're just gonna kind of leave those alone for right now. Then we're just gonna go right up in the middle, just draw a line. And it kind of curves towards Snoopy just a bit. And we'll, we'll straighten this up later. So we got a branch here, got a branch here, a branch here and here a branch here and then our little ornament is actually going to be on here all right so we'll straighten this up next thing we're gonna do back in the background so you've got like them on this we can grab a little ruler again and see I go back behind here so here's like a level of snow here 
And then back in the background, off to the side of Snoopy, I'm gonna go about here. So right back here, we're gonna draw Snoopy's house in the distance. So I'm gonna make my boxing thing going on here. All right, make my box and then the roof. Oof. Bring this up, bring this one up, bring this one down. All right, now that looks more proportionate because this is off in the distance and we don't want it to, we want it to fairly be the same size as Snoopy at least. Okay, Snoopy's house, so that he's got his little planks that and they don't have to be straight lines they can just be like little lines disconnected lines same for a pot little disconnected lines and then we've got like the lights so the easiest way how I've found to draw the lights for Snoopy start out from the top of the house go up circle around and go back into the house and then underneath the house, he has strings of light. So you're gonna go up, up, and up. And then we can adjust this later. First, what we're gonna do is go ahead and start filling in details on Charlie and Snoopy. Now for Charlie's face first. We we'll first have to draw his hat. So his hat's just kind of gonna, we're gonna cut off the top of his head. Still keep that circle, go up this over it kind of looks like a pot so it's like a rounded upside down like pot for your oven right and then you're gonna go ahead and bring out the bill of his hat which is curved so it's curved just down underneath and you make that bill a little bit thicker so if I were to erase the top of his head And then you're, for his bill, you've got a little bit of like a line, I don't know the embellishment like <laughs> terms for a hat, but you got a, a circle and then you've got like this little thing on top of the bill. And you know, it's like a winter fun hat. All I see is a uh, Christmas vacation, dude. <laughs> All right, and so you're gonna come up and make a box here, kind of round it off and bring it off to the side. And you're gonna make like a little thing up here on top of the hat and then you can't see this side but you got another one of these boxes over here and bring this out over here so yeah one of them fancy like winter hats so I am gonna make an eye guideline here before I make his eyes, I want to make his nose. His nose in the middle of his face is going to be like a really rough C. So, like that. And then you're going to make a little eye here. And then a little eye here. So his nose is in between his eyes. And you can see a little bit of an eyebrow here. And a little bit of an eyebrow here. Now, the thing that's nice about Charles Schultz cartoons is that you don't really have to be smooth with your lines. So for his mouth, you're gonna go way down here. You're just gonna kind of like, you don't have to, if you wanna give like a little bit of a curve, see how I did that, you can do that. Now below the eye line that we made, you are going to make one ear coming out this way and draw directly across from that one. And you don't have to draw a big of an ear, as big of an ear as this one, because it's kind of a, like his own way of a three-quarter turn. <laughs> All right. And then, after this, you want to go ahead and get rid of those lines. So I'm going to get rid of the lines inside. Ta-da! And straighten those back up. And then we're gonna go down into his neck and from his neck you're gonna go and make a bit of a dip with a triangle and go up and back into his neck and then from here you're gonna make a rectangle but I'm gonna kind of curve this out go up and go in so you're not gonna make as big of a rectangle 
but you're gonna go down and go in. So it's kind of like the other side of his collar, but you're not seeing most of it because you're seeing more of this side. So from the little corner that we made for his V-neck, go ahead and separate, bring that down. So let's start with this side first. From his collar, we're gonna go ahead, round this up. And this is good because his we don't have to draw his hands, even though Charles Schultz's hands are really easy. Um, we get his hand is in his pocket. So I'm just gonna kinda round this off here. And I'm gonna bring down his sleeve here and then bring up. So I brought down this sleeve and then bring up his arm. And you leave that alone because his hand is tucked in his pocket. And we're gonna just make like a little indention for his pocket. Make sure that that pocket is the same width as his hand. Otherwise people won't really get it <laughs> if you give this to them. And then uh, directly across the side, you're gonna go ahead and pretend his other, well we are pretending, draw his other hand in his pocket. So you got two hands in his pockets. Now we're gonna add a little bit of texture. So we're gonna add a line here. We're gonna add a line coming off here. And we can actually bring this part down from his collar and then go outwards again. So you see I brought this one down, bring this one down. And then we're actually going to close off with a shirt above his collar of his jacket. So for underneath his jacket, you're gonna kind of go in and in. Just give a little bit more of an indention to his jacket because this is his big old jacket. Now for his legs, you're gonna go bring this part down in front of your rectangle that you made. There's one foot and one pant. And then this one's gonna be fairly bigger. So I'm gonna bring this one out just a little bit more. And that should be good enough for his pants. Now for his feet, you're gonna start with this one first in the middle. And you're just gonna go into that big mass that we made. And bring out that back part. And this is just like that. And that's it. That's Charlie. Okay, now let's do Snoopy. So starting with Snoopy's hat too, we're actually gonna go above right here on top of his head and you're just gonna kind of round it off and we're gonna make like the fluffy part of his cute little hat. He's got like some elf hat on. So we made the fluffy part. Now we're gonna stick his ear inside. So from the bottom of the fluffy part, you're gonna bring out his ear and it's gonna go right back into his hat. Then for his hat, you're gonna go, you're gonna give a little bit of space from the top of the fluffy part. And you're gonna start to go down. Come to a point. Go right back up. Then that's good. Then you're gonna get a fluffy part at the bottom. Now the thing about Snoopy's hat is it does have stripes. So if I were to go through and give stripes, but the stripes are indicating like lumps on top. So if I go through, give it its stripes. So at the beginning of each stripe on top, you're just gonna give like lumps into it all around. So even on this side, just like that, all right? so. Snoopy always kind of stands with his belly like kind of poking out just a little bit so it's always so cute. So from here you're gonna go like we don't really need eye guideline but above you're gonna give a little bit of space and right here you're just gonna draw a simple kind of like a teardrop eye. And then you will connect these two circles so I'm gonna go into the slope a little bit. Go underneath. 
And this is on an entity of its own. It's just got hanging out here. And no mouth. So you can go ahead and erase here. And then you've got your little collar. Now for his arm, you're gonna go underneath his collar and you start to bring down his arm, one side of his arm. And then the other side of his arm is going to be just straight down. And then he's got like half of his paw showing, so it's gonna be pretty easy. You're just gonna do one, one, and then two. And right into that arm. So you would get rid of like that one little connection. So it's like connecting those two lines together. And that's his arm. And so you're gonna keep his back because he's got a little tail right here. Little easy tail, okay? And then his belly's kind of poking out. He's so cute. All right. Then you're gonna go right in the middle of the little mass of feet that we made. And you're gonna bring out one paw. And then this paw is just kind of out and going this way. And you got a little line here for the paw and a little line here for the paw. You're gonna leave this one and this one. And that's it for Snoopy. Now let's look at our tree. So we actually got a little twig up here. So you can be as crazy as you want with the tree, however you want it. So I'm just gonna kind of thicken up the main base of the tree, the twig, the main like thing that's holding it together. You're gonna circle off the bottom and you just wanna thicken the main one up because this is like a branch and then you got your twigs. <laughs> So for the wooden blocks underneath, we're gonna make them look a little bit more 3D. So I'm gonna lightly kind of erase around them because they got the idea of like crossing over each other. So where the base of your tree is, you wanna round that off. And you got your one rectangle here. And I'm actually gonna just make this a little 3D. So if you go back and go underneath, and then go underneath, and then you're gonna go out this way, go underneath, underneath, just giving it, you know how you make those boxes, those 3D boxes, and that's what you're just going to do, and you're going to give a couple of lines, so for every twig, the base of the twig, you just want to kind of make those a little bit fat, so they're connecting to that branch. And then on the end of every twig, you're just gonna make a really simple couple of little pines on there going around your twigs. But before I cover up my little red bulb, you're gonna just draw the top of the bulb, round that off. So I kind of just made like a really fat, short cone. Draw that bulb and it's just gonna be Hanging on that tree. And there's our little Christmas tree. Then in the background for Snoopy's house, we basically did most of it by just drawing the shape and stuff. Now in the background, I'm just gonna go underneath that first part because Snoopy's house when you draw it to show the roof it's got a really skinny rectangle now for Snoopy's house you're just gonna go around with the lights and you're just gonna follow along not too many you're just gonna make really simple like light bulbs Make one here, make one here, make one here. Don't go too crazy, you're gonna drive yourself insane. And then connecting them with just like little boxes underneath to the string.
And then on top of his little house, you're just gonna draw little clumps of snow. It can just look like little clouds. Get rid of that top part. And you're gonna get rid of, the snow's gonna get rid of the line underneath his house. Got his little house full of snow. You can actually clear up this one right here. Then this one underneath, you're just going to do the same thing. The lights are going to be hanging down below. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to, underneath where you started to make your house, you're just going to make snow underneath. And then underneath their feet, you of course want to go ahead, make some snow, and you're going to make snow back here in the background. All right. And if you want to, You can put like a couple little stars, just like messily made stars in the sky. The easiest way for me to make stars is kind of like, you know, do your kindergarten stars. And you're gonna get rid of the middles. And they don't have to be uniform. They could be as messy as you would like. I got a star up here. And there you go little snow and you can even add little bits and pieces of snow here and there there we go there's how to draw charlie brown and snoopy in his little house and the wonderful tree that we all love and grew up to love now this is a two-part video series if you want, I'm going to teach you how to line and color this image with colored pencils in another video. So if you want to, you can follow along and I'll tell you and share like what color colors I'm using with my colored pencils and what supplies I'm using so that if you want to color along with me or if you want a little bit of help of coloring, I'm actually going to color this to look exactly like the Charles Schultz so with like the scratching lines and everything. So it's going to be fun. So if you want to, to go join me on the next video, I'll put it in the link down below or you can just find it in like the tags and stuff and everything. So yeah, in the playlist, I mean, <laughs> but yes, guys, thank you for watching. And I hope you'll draw one of the most famous, cutest vintage Christmas cartoons of our time. Charlie Brown. Bye guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs>